right, it is wad time. We are doing baby Yoda today. This is a workout, uh, we've done this style before. We did them a lot the first few weeks and we haven't done one like this for a while. It's similar to our fight going bad style workouts. The only thing that's a little different here is that we're not worried about the total number of reps. We're only gonna be focused on what that last movement is and that's our score is the number of double dumbbell box step overs. So scoring is going to be a lot easier for those of you who are complaining about the math and having to keep track of all the reps. This will be a lot easier. So with that, we're going to set the clock up EMOM style. So you'll go to your timer, you'll select EMOM, and you will type 20 minutes into your timer. So that every minute you will get an alarm. And that's when you're looking to make the switch of your, to your next movement. So minute number one. We are doing alternating lawnmower rows. So here in a good, good position with our back, right? We can rest our hand on there if we want, and we're, we're rowing that dumbbell back up into the chest, right? Sometimes we do our row right where we're pulling it into our belly button. This time now, we're getting that good back position, right? And we're pulling that in, okay? So we'll be doing 10 reps per arm. So in the first minute, you will do 10 dumbbell rows, probably 10 dumbbell lawnmower pulls on your right arm, 10 on your left. The remaining time, you rest. When that's done, you're getting down to the ground and we go down to 15 hand release push-ups. We want good quality hand release push-ups, right? So that's hands inside the shoulders, right? Elbows close to the chest. We go down to the bottom, we lift our hands off the ground, and we push that out. 15 total reps. If that's too much for you, we can keep our knees on the ground. Again, get those hands stacked inside the shoulders. Nice tight core. And we're pushing those out. And when we're at the bottom, we lift our hands off the ground a couple inches every time, okay? The hand release push up. R really what it does is it forces you to start and really re-engage the arms. It doesn't let you keep tension under the arms the whole time. So that's where the challenge of that hand release push up comes in. So once you're done your 15 hand release push ups, the remainder of the time you rest. When minute three comes, you're gonna have your box or your stool, whatever you're working with, and we are gonna to switch to box, double dumbbell box step overs. So you get your weight, and you're here, and we're working our way through. Now that we're doing double dumbbells, you don't have to fully extend here. The goal here is to take the weight that while we're doing our step overs, that we have a weight where we can work steady through for that full minute, okay? We don't wanna Go fast for 30 seconds. Whew, sit down here like this, shake out our hands and our arms because your grip's tired. Go back there and get you know one more. So take a nice steady weight so you can work steady for that whole minute. When that minute is done, you would go get your drink of water then, write down your total number of rep of box step overs that you've done, because our score is the total of five rounds of box step overs. So with that. Steady pace, work smart through the first two rounds, keep your breath, and just get ready for grip and legs as you're going up and over that box repeatedly. Have fun with Baby Yoda.